In this video, you're going to learn almost everything you need to know to make your first Instagram ad. The reason I say almost is because if you don't have a Facebook business manager yet, you shouldn't be making ads. You don't want to be using the promote button on the actual Instagram app. That's sort of just like giving your credit card to Instagram and saying, waste my money. So we're going to learn the right way to do these Instagram ads, a way that's actually going to help you get customers. We also just released a series of videos covering business manager, Facebook ads, etc. So make sure you go check them out first if you don't have those tools yet. But if you do have all of those tools set up, we're going to show you how to run these ads in this video. So one thing a lot of people don't understand about Instagram ads is that they are actually just Facebook ads, but with what's called an Instagram placement. So Facebook owns Instagram. It's all integrated into one platform that allows you to run the right kinds of ads. There are a lot of people who think Facebook is dead, but Facebook still has over double the amount of users that Instagram has. So if you want to run Instagram ads, that's great. I would highly consider running Facebook ads as well. They can do a lot that Instagram ads can't, and they can reach a different audience than Instagram ads as well. If you're new here, guys, my name is Keaton Walker. I'm one of the co-founders here at Course Ranks. Course Ranks is a ranking platform for courses that teach you how to make money online. So if you're stuck trying to find a good course, or if you're scared of getting scammed, Course Ranks is completely free to use and allows you to see who is credible and who isn't. This YouTube channel is also where we put out super high quality, concise content on all the different ways to make money online. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Awesome. So the first step in running Instagram ads is going to be going into our Facebook business manager. Again, if you haven't set this up, just check out our other video on the Facebook business manager and then come back to this video. All right. So here we are in my computer. Let's first cover the ads manager basics by going to business.facebook.com and my business manager. And as you can see, the different ad accounts I have here, we're going to click into my course ranks. All right. So here we are in my ad account. And as you can see, there's four tabs up here, but the three that you need to pay attention to the resource center isn't important, but campaigns, ad sets, and ads. This is how everything fits together within your Instagram ads. So first we've got the campaign. That's kind of the shell that everything fits around. Then we have the ad set. That's where we do the targeting. So we'll come in here to ad set. You can see the different ad sets I've used in the past. And then ads, this is where the actual creative, the thing that shows up on the Instagram feed or the Instagram story, that's where it's going to go here in ads. Just a quick note here. Some of you might be watching this just because you want to get more followers on your page. That's great. But at the end of the day, the number of followers doesn't actually matter unless you're actually making money from those followers, right? So it's important you have your Instagram page set up correctly so people will actually A, want to follow you, and then B, you need to set it up in a way that makes those followers want to buy from you as well. All right, so really quickly, let's go over the different types of ads you can run on Instagram. We're going to go to business.instagram.com and check out what they have on here. So they've got all these different ads examples here. If we say getting started, we can learn the basics, advertise on Instagram, sell on Instagram. These are good uh, resources for you. Then if we click advertise on Instagram, it will give us all of these different options here. We can scroll through all of this. It's pretty cool. We can learn how all of this works. So here are some examples of the different ads that we'll be able to run. First, we've got video, Instagram stories. So the Instagram story, we can read through everything here. So Instagram stories can bring your business to life in an immersive format with options to add stickers, emojis, and other creative elements. These full screen vertical ads appear to viewers between organic Instagram stories. Instagram stories will play video ads that are 15 seconds or less for the full duration of the video. Video ads that are longer than 15 seconds will be split into separate story cards. Instagram will play either one, two, or three cards automatically before giving viewers the option to tap keep watching to see the remainder of the video. By default, the number of cards automatically displayed before prompting viewers to tap keep watching is tailored to each viewer. So basically what that means is Instagram has a sophisticated algorithm that's going to go through and select which video to show to which person, how long to show that video for, all that kind of thing to make sure that their user experience is the best as it possibly can be on Instagram. Instagram because the more time you spend on Instagram, the more users Instagram has, the more money they make. So you can also see the design recommendations here, uh, the ratio, the minimum resolution, the video settings, all of this type of thing. You can come here. So we've got the Instagram stories here. Then we can click down here and see the different ones. So now Instagram feeds, let's check them out. And also just a note here, guys, any of this could change at any time. So this is a good resource for you to come check out. And this is, again, to get here, we went to business.instagram.com. Anyways, this is the feed ads that show up on your Instagram feed. And then the last option here is going to be Instagram Explore, which are the pictures that show up or the videos that show up on the Explore page when you're scrolling there. So those are our three different Instagram specific options. Now let's hop into the ads manager and see the different options we have for targeting and all of that other kind of stuff and see how it all fits together. All right. So here we are in my ads manager. To get here, I went to business.facebook.com and then I clicked on my specific ad manager. The core strengths one is the one we'll be using here. Uh, just a quick tutorial here 
here. You don't need to pay attention to resource center here, but these three tabs are extremely important. So the campaign level is where you select behavioral targeting. So that means you're targeting people that like to click on websites or people that like to watch videos or people that like to engage with posts. That's where we can select that option in campaigns. Ad sets is where we select the other type of targeting like geographical, interest targeting, all that type of thing. And then ads is where we actually creative for our Instagram ads. So let's come here to create. All right, so here we are. It's asking us to choose a campaign objective. As I mentioned earlier, each of these is actually targeting a specific behavior. And if we hover over this, it's going to say, uh, you know, collect leads for your business or brand. What they're not telling you here is that Instagram is going to show the ad to the person that's most likely to perform that specific action. All right, so for this example, let's say that we want to send more people to our website. We want to send traffic there so that we can get more sales. Let's say we have an e-commerce website. What we're going to do is select traffic. If we come here, click continue. Now it's going to give us a few more options on the campaign level. You're always going to want to turn campaign budget optimization on. Uh, as far as budget goes, you can go as little as $1 a day. I probably wouldn't recommend that. I would go something like $5 a day at the very minimum. And depending on your budget, you can go up to like a thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollars a day. But if you're watching this video and you're just starting out, I would recommend between 15 and $20 a day to actually get some good data. And that's, you know, ad costs are always rising. So you might have to increase that if you're watching this a year from now. All right, with that selected, let's go ahead and click next. And now we're onto the ad set. In my opinion, this is where the exciting stuff starts to happen because we're actually doing some crazy targeting that's not available in any other type of advertising except social media advertising. So yeah, we're going to select website here. We could send them to an app, Messenger or WhatsApp, but we, we want to send them to our website. Uh, dynamic creative, we could do offer, we could do, but we're going to leave those for now. It's more advanced options. Uh, right now, we're just trying to keep it simple so you can actually get something up. All right. So when it comes to targeting, there's tons of different options here. So I'm going to go through four different scenarios of how you might want to target depending on what type of business you run. So the first one is a custom audience. If we come here to create new, it's going to give us the option of custom audience or lookalike audience. I'm going to select custom audience. We can select here from a bunch of different data sources that will allow us to target specific people. So if you've seen our video on the Facebook pixel, you'll know that people visiting our website collected on our Facebook pixel. So if we come here, we've got our demo pixel connected and we can change the parameters of this. So include people who meet any or all of the following criteria. So I'm going to say any, all website visitors in the last 30 days. And we'll say audience name is demo pixel 30 days website visitors. And then I always find it good to like put the date on here. So I won't put it here, but you could put the date just so you know that the, when you set the audience up, but this 30 days is actually going to be, it's going to be a rolling 30 days. So it's not just, you know, if today is May 7th, 2021, it's not just going to go back to April 7th. It's actually going to tomorrow. It will go back to April 8th. And then on, on May 9th, it will go back to April 9th and so on and so forth. So it just keeps rolling and retargeting those people who have most recently visited your website. I can put a description here. I'm not going to, it's not necessary. So I created the audience and now it's asking me to create a lookalike audience or create another custom audience. We can just click done here. Now it's giving me this error message. Some people using iOS 14.5 or later devices may be excluded from your audience. Read more about how iOS 14 may affect your ads. So this is something new coming out in 2021. We might release a video about it, but I wouldn't worry too much about it. You're just going to, you know, your ads might get a little bit less effective, but you'll still be able to reach a lot of people uh, with targeted ads, which is great. All right. So now, as you can see here, we've got the include or the exclude option. So right now, by default, it's actually excluding the people who were on the 30 day website visitors. So I'm going to X out of this and I'm going to include website 30 day visitors. Now it's an included instead of the excluded section. So make sure that you're targeting people the right way. So that's one way that we could target. As you can see here, the potential reach here is unavailable. This would be a good option if you have a ton of people already visiting your website that haven't purchased that you want to retarget and just kind of like skim that cream off the top, you know, the low hanging fruit, get it from these retargeting ads. That would be great for you. And usually because these retargeting audiences are so small, you can just keep the entire country or really just get rid of the geo targeting. And then it's only going to target people who have visited your website going to retarget those people because it has a match via the Facebook pixel to their Facebook profile and therefore their Instagram profile as well. So if you're doing a custom audience like this, obviously it's very specific. And so you don't really need to do any other targeting here. But now let's set up what I was talking about earlier, which is a lookalike audience. This is a really cool option because it can take people who are most similar to the people who have purchased from you, the people who have visited your website, all those kinds of things and create an audience that looks the most like them within a certain demographic. 
I come here to lookalike audience. I select course ranks demo pixel. So to create our lookalike audience, the first thing we need is a source to pull things from. So I'm going to come to sources. I uploaded a list of the users on course ranks to Facebook. And so I'm going to use that to create this lookalike audience. So we've got the, the users on course ranks. So this is an email list that we have. And we're going to say we want people in the United States and Canada. Nice. And then for the sake of uh, this, we want people who look the most like the people in this audience, right? So we're going to click, we want the 1%, uh, which is going to give us an audience size of about 2.6 million. I'm going to create this audience. So that's how you would create the custom audience. The next example we're going to go over is if you're a local business, let's say you're like an escape room or something like that, or a restaurant, you just want to target people in your local area, right? So what I'd come here, I'd target people living in this location. You could also do uh, people living in or recently in this location. And let's say we're like a Rodizio grill in Las Vegas, right? And we want to target people within seven miles of our location. So we've got seven miles and you know, all these people are going to see the ad now. We can change the age. We can change the gender if we want. If I was a local business, this is all the targeting I would do. You just want to show it generally because as you can see, the reach here is only 32,000 people, which Facebook's going to kind of reach a limit there to the number of people it can show to. So I really wouldn't worry too much about extra targeting if you're a local business other than just geographical targeting. And then the last one we've got here, guys, is interest-based targeting. So let's say, so let's say we just select the entire United States and we go down to detail targeting uh, where we can add demographics, interests, or behavior. So let's say the thing we're selling on our website really appeals to women between the ages of about 20 and 35 years old. So if I come here to the detailed targeting area, I can put in engaged and there's tons of different things here, right? I could select people who are engaged because likely they're between those ages. I could select people who um, have been newly engaged for a year, six months. This would be really cool if you're like a jeweler or something like that, right? But the one I actually wanted to select from here is engaged shoppers. So behaviors, this means that Facebook knows people who are ready to buy. And so if you select this as engaged shoppers, you're going to know that Facebook is targeting the people that like to shop online and who are interested in buying stuff right now. So we can do engaged shoppers. Uh, and then we can also change this to women 20 to 35, like we said, nice. And now let's see some other suggestions that it might have for us in the detailed targeting. So we got online shopping, shopping and fashion, frequent travelers, that's cool. Facebook payments user, somebody that purchased something through Facebook in the last 30 days. Anybody who's, and then the other thing that you can do is kind of target influencers that these people might be interested in. So let's say for whatever reason, our product targets people that like Oprah, sorry. Need to spell Oprah. So Oprah Winfrey, I'm going to select the additional interest there. And now it will target everybody that likes Oprah Winfrey, which is pretty cool. So let's say we got our targeting already. I can't really tell you what to do. Uh, if you have questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. But your business, you know your business better than I know your business. So just based on those different targeting options that I showed you, that's pretty much everything you can do. Choose one of those four and then just go for it. All right. So now this is the part where we choose to show our ads only on Instagram or on Facebook. So we're going to come to manual play. Placements. We're just going to uncheck Facebook, uncheck audience network, uncheck messenger, and we're just going to leave Instagram. And as you can see here, we've got stories, we've got explore, and we've got feed selected. So it's just those three options that we talked about earlier. One thing to consider here is that typically Instagram feed ads look different than Instagram story ads. You might actually have to create two different ad sets where you have just a story ad set and just a feed ad set. And the way that you would do that is come here to duplicate, click duplicate. It's going to put it inside this existing existing campaign. So now we've got new ad set copy. So let's rename this one up here and call it stories. And we'll click on this one and call it feed ads, change this one to ads. And then if we come down here and deselect the explore and feed. And then this one, we deselect stories. Now we have two different ad sets. They're going to only show one is only going to show stories and one is only going to show feed ads, which is good because then the, we can make the creative fit that specific aesthetic of that placement, right? All right. Now we're moving on to another really exciting part, which is actually putting the creative for our ads into Facebook ads manager. So if we come here to turn preview on, we've just got the stories placement and it's going to ask us to add media. If you don't have 
have any media or you don't have a good uh, video to put in already that fits the dimensions that we covered earlier, a really great option is to come to canva.com and then you can just come here and you can do create a design Instagram story. And this is going to give you the option to do, you know, you, it doesn't have to be a video on your Instagram stories because you can add an image or a video. So if we'll come here for this one, let's do a, an image. It's just a little bit easier. So let's say we're selling something, come here to, that's pretty cool. It's got like the moving background, let go fear less. And we can click pause. This is like completely free, which is really cool. I'm going to come here and I'm going to say weekend getaway, a little bit bigger, center that and say like Bora Bora flights only $196. Okay. And we'll center that again. That looks pretty good. And then something that's a good practice is also just to put a like swipe up to learn more, just put a call to action there. So I'm going to shrink this swipe up to learn more. And when it's on Instagram, it'll kind of have that swipe up animation going anyway. So it's fine. Obviously you'd put a little bit more effort than I'm putting into the graphic design here, but you get the idea. So while we're waiting for that to download, let's create a good feed ad. So we'll come here to Instagram post and let's see an example here. When you can guys, the more often you can use not stock photos, definitely use those. If you have like a video that you've made yourself or just something that's not a stock photo that can work really well on Instagram, that's always going to work better than a stock photo. So let's say we go here to this one. Let's say it's a retargeting ad that we're doing and we say like Memorial Day sale looks pretty good. And then maybe we have like a logo that we pop up in here, right? So we'll come to elements, uploads. Let's pop the course ranks logo in there just for fun. And we can come in here and like kind of change the effects or the filter on that. So it looks a little bit better. You can do all sorts of stuff here in Canva. So just play around with that. Obviously it doesn't look amazing, but uh, we'll just put that in there and then we'll download this one as well. Looks like we're getting sort of close on that other Instagram video. So let's come here, drag that down and I'm going to come to new ad here on the feed ads and I'm going to click add Im image and I'm going to upload this image that we just made. Click next. Done. Awesome. That looks good. So Memorial Day sale. We can scroll down here and see what it looks like. This is the explore placement. This is the feed. All right. So then you'd come here to the primary text and you'd say whatever you type in here goes under the photo and then the website URL. First we can do course ranks.com. There we go. Now it's gotten rid of what we were talking about earlier. Looks good. Obviously you want to put a lot of effort into this primary text. You can also add different options. So I just say like option two shows up here. So whoever, depending on who it's showing to, Facebook is going to flip out the different options uh, for the primary text there and see which one's performing better. So that's a really cool option. All right. So that's our feed ad. It's done. Now let's go over to our story ad and add media. We're going to add a video. Let me drag this down onto the desktop first. Let's add a video. We've got this weekend getaway open, uploading the video. So while that's waiting, we'll come here. We don't don't actually need any primary text because uh, it's a story and it, the story already had all of the primary text. So if we type this in, we put like primary text goes here, that's going to show up over the video and we don't want that to happen. Let's wait for this to process and we'll be able to see the preview. Uh, website URL also we'll put course ranks.com. So if they swipe up, that's where it'll take them. Let's wait for it to load. All right. Now that's loaded. We can see it looks really good. Actually, we can get away. Bora Bora flights only 196. And then we've got this swipe up to learn more, learn more. I think it looks really good. Um, so this one will definitely, you know, sell some flights to Bora Bora. And then one more thing that you can do is just come here to learn more and you could do get quote, get show times, listen now, get access. I really like learn more. I think it's probably the most versatile and just, it's not very invasive. People are like, oh yeah, I can learn more. So once all of this is done, guys, all you have to do is click publish. And then once you click publish, it's going to be in review is what it's called. That's just making sure that the ad you just created is compliant with Facebook's policies and all that kind of thing. So don't worry too much about it as long as you've followed everything I've taught you in this video and you, you're not promoting things that are like illegal substances or something that's not eligible to be advertised on Facebook and just following all of the other rules that Facebook has, you'll be completely fine. That should be reviewed within a few minutes to a few hours and then your ad will start running and it'll run indefinitely unless you set an end date for it. All right, everyone. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully you learned something really important about how to advertise your business on Instagram. Make sure to check out our other videos in this series, subscribe to the channel for more, and tell your friends about course ranks. And with all of that said, we will see you next time.